How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another pack opening. We have even more Karlov mana for you. This is part of the Karlov Money series. Now, like I said before, we have several boxes of Karlov. We have an entire case waiting for us, uh, but we're going to go ahead and start with two regular play booster boxes and two collector boxes. See where we go from there. Now, the prices are going to try and match the close, uh, as close as I can to the, when the videos release. So with that being said, as always, we have everything you see here and some listed on our TCG store. Link in the description below, or if you're on TikTok, it'll be over in the bio. Either way, uh, the name of the game for Karloff Manor really is these fetchable surveil lands. They have made quite a splash in several different formats. Of course, they're great in Commander, but I think the the majority of their drive has been from Modern because they've just been going up and up and they, so, they show very little sign of slowing down. Uh, so we collected these when we believed the price was right, which was about 140 for the collector boxes and about $80 for the play boosters. Uh, I bought as much as I could at the time. Unfortunately, I am a broke boy, so I couldn't buy as much as I would like. I would have liked to buy all of it, but I bought as much as I could. And uh, here we're just seeing what we, what we open. I do want to put out there that we are not a financial advice channel. None of this is financial advice. I think there's a lot better things you could be spending your money on than Magic the Gathering cards. But it is my all-time favorite game. I spend a lot of my time playing it, traveling for it. Uh, I just recently top 8 in an RCQ, and I took third place in a 1K tournament, uh, bringing home a little bit of money, so that was cool as well. And you can see here, even with just a few of those lands, there's just so much value. I know there's a couple other cards I could be counting. Um, the Trouble in Pairs is another one that is very expensive, so I decided to throw that on there. But for the most part, even if we pull like two, three dollar cards, I'm going to majority ignore them and focus just on the Surveil Lands or any really notable cards or pet cards of mine like Slime Against Humanity. I absolutely love that card. And of course, any card that you can have any number of in a deck, they always do well. Uh, so we'll just be looking to put those aside with the rares. Other than that, we're busting into these packs. The hardest part about getting these packs is actually opening them. We do have a pair of scissors nearby, but she prefers not to, as to not even remotely put the cards in danger. Uh, Undercity Sewers right there, Borderless is absolutely insane. That thing's almost $30 now, and I don't know if they'll hold that price forever. I feel like they're bound to have a reprint here pretty soon. Uh, especially if they're going to go up this high. I know that Wizards traditionally likes to print things into the dirt, so I don't think it's a long-term investment at all, but if you can find cheap boxes of Karlov and flip the lands that you pull, uh, you also have to get lucky enough, of course, to get the lands. But I think the chances are high because, as I've stated in the last video, it was very rare for Wizards to put all ten lands of a cycle uh, of a dual land cycle into a single set other than like common or uncommon lands but the fact that they did it here with the rare lands means that their availability is going to be much greater on average when you're cracking packs and we're almost at that 140 mark which is our cost basis of course after fees even if we break even uh with some of the extra bulk and stuff it'll take us a long time to recoup the money that we spent on these things so uh, again not financial advice but incredibly fun and in my personal opinion worthwhile and just like that we have collapsed the 140 gone straight over it with into 150 with another one of those surveil lands i'm telling you these things are absolutely insane we're getting down to the last few packs now. Uh, it's probably one more cycle. I don't exactly know how she organizes it. I think there's like four or five cards. She has her own system and it's developing as we open this. Ah, she just tossed all those cards over there. Worth actually zero dollars, all heavily played or damaged. Just kidding, but we do have more lands and that's exactly what we want to see. The commons and uncommons on this set are very flavorful. We've been enjoying reading all of the uh, flavor text on them, and they have some funny, funny quotes. Uh, it's a very quirky set, for sure. Uh, it wasn't my favorite by any means. I'm definitely more... I liked Ixalan and Thunder Junction and Bloomborough, and I think I'm going to like Duskmorn a lot more than I like Karlov. But at the price that these boxes were at, I just couldn't say no. 
I know I've said that before and I'm probably going to regurgitate it a few more times because I personally think it was a fantastic purchase, especially for just cracking and trying to flip as many as possible. And bam, just like that, that's why we do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that made it this far. As always, buy singles and I'll see you in the next one.